My message to the family on behalf of the RCRC is one of deep condolences. We share their grief and sorrow and shock of what has happened. Uh, delegate, uh, their family member, worked for the RCRC for humanitarian uh, objectives only. And they go through difficult days and we will give them all support they need to come through this as best as possible. ICRC has uh, temporarily suspended its operation and movements in Libya. Uh, we need time to review the situation security-wise, to care for the team, to support the family, and to take the immediate measures after a crisis like this. But we have suspended temporarily and we are not pulling out of uh, Libya and we will continue to support the victims of violence and conflict in Libya in the future. It's a shocking attack. Uh, we are there for no other reason than uh, supporting the victims uh, who need us there. We work with the Libyan Red Crescent. We work with a strong team on the ground. And a direct attack on us, on one of our staff, is uh, first and foremost uh, shocking. It's illegal, it's against international law, but it's also devastating uh, in terms of uh, possible consequences for the victims and the beneficiaries. We, uh, we strongly condemn this and we will uh, have to think thoroughly on what comes next now. There are a number of things we don't know at all. We don't know who was behind the attack. Nobody has claimed it. We can have speculation, but we don't know. Secondly, we don't know if this was targeted uh, at ICC as an institution. The fact is that one of our uh, staff members, being part of a team, was directly attacked and killed. And we, that, that's what we have, and then we need to work further to find what conclusions can be drawn on that, but we cannot at this stage say that it was an attack on ICRC as an institution. When we have a security situation like this, with this shocking event taking place, there are certain things which need to come in the right order. We care now about the family who lost someone. We care about the other colleagues who were there, part of that uh, shocking incident. We have a team on the ground which needs support, and we need time to analyze. Then the diff different decisions are coming. But ICRC has no intention to leave the victims of Libya behind. We continue to work for the victims in Libya, but the way we're going to do it and in what form that needs to be sorted out as we've had the time to review and analyze this. First priority now is to support the people directly involved.